Chevrolet Cruze 1.4T Automatic. A middle school wood shop teacher once told this author to hand sand a wooden DVD rack project until its surface was smoother than a baby's bottom. The teacher's name is long forgotten, but that quote stuck, the image of the business sand of an infant ensured as much, and it applies as aptly to the 2016 Chevrolet Cruze's sandpaper this to wood. The Cruze is a seriously smooth car, from its slippery shape to the way its doors shut with a muffled wump. In large part, the Cruze's smoothness is derived from its impeccably compliant suspension. In car terms, it is refined. And the Cruze doesn't come much more so than the mid-grade Delta he tested here, with the automatic transmission and 16-inch wheels. The available Premier model with the largest wheels available, 18 inches, may be less smooth, while the base Cruze L with its 15-inch tires and their taller sidewalls may be smoother still. Yet cut the line up down the middle and you're still talking baby bottom smooth. Standing off the edges. Dimensionally, the Cruze's wheelbase is 0.6 inch longer than its predecessors while overall length is up 2.7 inches, placing it at the large end of the compact class. Yet by sanding the edges off the previous Cruze's upright, 3-box sedan shape, Chevrolet lowered the roof by 0.7 inch and reduced nearly every major interior measurement save for rear leg and knee room. Consider it a sort of package and two that the car somehow feels more spacious than before. The steeply raked windshield, which is located farther from the driver at the end of a deeper dashboard, gives front seat occupants an airier environment, while the increases in back seat knee room, 2.0 inches, and rear leg room, 0.7 inch, lend the aft quarters a whiff of limo luxury. Well, there's plenty of rear seat space down low, headroom and back remains tight. The Cruise's chassis tuning contributes to the sensation of greater size, too, by mimicking the comfortable, solid-feeling mid-size Malibu. General Motors' excellence in suspension calibration is on full display here, where humble components, front struts and a torsion beam rear axle, are tuned to deliver uncanny stability and comfort. Sportiness clearly wasn't the target, but neither the Cruise's stability nor the driver's sense of control is compromised even while absorbing ruts and bumps like a larger car. This doesn't show up in the sedan's ho-hum 0.82 gram skid pad performance or its 168 foot stopping distance from 70 miles per hour, but what matters is that in aggressive emergency maneuvers such as quick plane changes or panic braking while turning, the back end stays planted, and when the car gives up grip, it's with safe, predictable under steam. In keeping with the car's general use mission, the steering is light but direct, with a distinct on-center zone that allows the driver to maintain straight-ahead tracking on interstates using only a thumb on the wheel. More power, less weight, more good. Replacing both the previous generation Cruise's base 1.8-liter 4 and available 1.4-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder gasoline engines is a single power plant, and all-new 1.4-liter turbo 4. A diesel variant will return in 2017, although similar in displacement to the old turbo engine, this one is 35 cubic centimeters larger, freshly designed, and features a block cast of aluminum instead of iron. It's 44 pounds lighter than the old 1.4T, it's also lighter than the old naturally aspirated 1.8 liter 4, and backs up to either a 6-speed manual or the 6-speed automatic transmission fitted to our test car. With 153 horsepower and 177 pounds to foot of torque, the new engine bests the old 1.4T by 15 horsepower and 29 pounds to foot.